In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the fuel tank straps on this Ford Ranger. Let's get started. To safely perform this job, we're going to have to support the fuel tank since the straps have to be removed. And I'm going to put a fuel tank jack for me because I am using a lift. But if you're working on the ground, you can use a floor jack. Just make sure that you put a piece of wood, rubber, anything soft in between so that the metal pad of the jack doesn't jam into the fuel tank and uh, bend it or destroy it in any way. Apply light pressure so that we can support it with this, not the straps. At the rear of the tank, you'll see one of the straps. It's held on with a 13 millimeter bolt. The nut on the inside of that frame is a captive nut. You don't have to worry about holding it. It just has a little cage basically that holds it. So put a 13 millimeter socket on it because mine is in pretty rusty condition here. I sprayed it with a lot of rust penetrant beforehand. Hopefully that helps. So let's try to break this free. There we go. That actually wasn't too bad. So let's remove it all the way and then we'll take the other one off. Now because I'm just replacing the straps, I'm going to do these one at a time. That way the fuel tank is still at least supported with one strap on top of the uh, fuel tank support that I have going on. So what's happening here, and this is pretty common, is the, the nut, or the, it's technically called a J-nut, is broken inside the frame and the bolt is just spinning. It's most of the way out, so that's good. But uh, what I'm going to do is use this hole right here, stick a pry bar in, and just hold the rest of that J-nut in place, basically, so I can finish removing the, the uh, mounting bolt for the strap. Finally got it. All right, now you can lower the strap on this side. Now on the other side of the frame to remove the straps, all you have to do is tilt them down. You might have to bend them a little bit out of the way and then twist it sideways, remove it through the opening. And there you go. To put the straps on, just reverse removal. So get the uh, hook part, hook it into the frame and then twist it and wrap it around the tank. All right, and on this side I have a new bolt and I put a mounting nut on the other side that I can hold through the other side of the frame. I'm gonna push this up through the hole. All right, I got that on. Let's tighten these up. Right. do the same to the other strap. Once you're sure that everything is properly secured, lower your support. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.